Hi, I'm Tom Craven. I edited your photos. Let's see what I did to them. So the first three are from Dan and here's the first one. I didn't actually find out where this was taken, but what I have done is I have uh, I've brought up the uh, exposure of the bottom half of the image uh, just so then it kind of matches the sky a little bit more and you can see the detail in them rocks. I've cropped it just because the top of the sky wasn't really doing anything for me and to make sure that the middle of uh, that rock formation is right dead center in the middle of the photo. I've also edited out the bit of rock that's to the right hand side of the image just because I felt like there's no need for it to really be there just to simplify the image a little bit. But overall, great image, a really solid image. Love the colors that are there. And um, you just have to enhance them in the edit. This one's quite interesting because it's framed by these leaves from a tree. And uh, you can see that there's a woman on the edge of the cliff there. Uh, so it was a case of, for this one, just changing the tones, just getting it to be a bit warmer, and then also editing them leaves so they look like they're almost more autumny. Um, so it's just kind of taking the green out of them a little bit and putting a bit more orange yellows in there um, But overall a really solid image um, Well exposed. Oh, and I've also taken out a bit of the branch uh, down below. Here's another one from another cliff um, really nice silhouette uh, that is, So what I did here is I was able to Boost up the colors just to kind of exaggerate them a bit, but also then I, I um, overall brightened the image a little bit uh, so then what I did is I use a mask for the bottom half just to darken that back down because there was no need to have the details in the rocks in the foreground I felt like on this shot um, but really solid image I really like this image actually thank you for them Dan and now we'll go on to Anna's uh, here we go so what I've really done here is I have changed the colors a little bit just to take just to um, just to make the blue look a little bit more desirable, I think anyway. And I've also taken out that uh, buoy just because I feel like it's an unnecessary distraction in the corner of the image. Um, but overall, really good image, really nice image, uh, but with a little moment there. I've also cropped this image in just because there was a bit of dead space around that I felt like didn't need to be in there. Thank you for that one, Anna, that was great. Now on to Paul. So this is actually at the same festival that I shot with him. This one is Jacob the drummer, and there was a color version that I was gonna go with, but it didn't feel like there was much of a change from where it started, it just exaggerated the colors. So I went with the black and white. Actually, this is one of my presets, metallic black and white, uh, and I just really like it. Uh, it just creates an atmosphere all on its own, but there's already an atmosphere with them lights up above uh, with, the, and with the smoke and the, the drum kit nicely lit. Really good image. Next one's from Paul as well. So what I did here is I boosted it up a little bit just because it was a tad underexposed. And then I have changed the tones of the skin, uh, the background, and also the denim. Um, I've just made that blue a little bit more blue. <laughs> um, but yeah, a really nice image. I've also taken out the something in the bottom here that was uh, just creeping into frame. And also taken the screw out of the chair just because it was now that the whole chair was a bit brighter that black screw was quite a distraction for me at least it felt like it didn't need to be there i've also enhanced the eyes just so you can get uh, better clarity of them and just overall they look a bit nicer next one i've uh, again it was a little bit underexposed so i've uh, brought it back up and um, just the power of raw really and then the issue i've had here um was when i brought the whole image up her face was quite um, bright in comparison to the rest of her skin. So I've just dialed that down just so they match a little bit more evenly. Um, but other than that, there wasn't really a lot to do. Again, just exaggerating the eyes just to uh, bring them out. Um, but really, really good image. Thank you, Paul. The final one is from Claire of Joshua. Uh, so what I've done here is I've again brought the exposure up a little bit. I've um, exaggerated his very ginger hair and his eyes uh, just brought them out again and then it's bringing the blacks down so then it, the bubbles are kind of exaggerated a little bit just to kind of show the definition around there 
Um, I've cropped it in a little bit as well, I believe. But other than that, no, really nice. Thank you guys for these photos. They were great. Um, I may do this again at some point. We'll soon find out if I decide to or not. Uh, just let me know in the comments below what you would have done differently or what you wanted to do but weren't able to do. Because uh, there's definitely things that I could think of that I maybe would want to do but I may not have the skills to do them. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See ya!